I've looked at a few of the Chinese clone screwless connectors, but let's take a look at another version of the daddy of them all. It's the Wago or Vago screwless connector that Wagner and Albrecht, but most people seem to call them Wago because it just it rolls off the tongue easier. This is the straight through version of the 221 connector. So you lift the tab up one side, stuff your wire in. Now here's a thing. I twist my wires before putting them in. What is the official stance on that? What is your stance on that? Because some technical bulletins say you shouldn't twist them. You should because it gives better surface area if you don't. But to me, twisting them actually keeps the strands together and makes it easier to lock them in. And they lock in tightly in these connectors, very tightly. Not like this little cheapy pink Chinese clone where you could pull wires out of it quite easy. Uh, these also have an interesting feature in the way that the contact assembly is ba made, and it's the same. Well, actually, there's a, a clone also uses the same technique, whereby it has the bus bar with the captive metal contacts on it. This is actually a fairly good clone, but the downside of this is you can buy an identical one from eBay but you don't know what you're actually going to get. They might send one with an aluminium or a steel bus bar one day. You just don't know what's going to be inside them, which is why, as always, I recommend buying Wagos if you're doing professional work. These are fine for your fun projects, like just low-voltage DC stuff maybe, but for professional stuff, always use the real thing. It's not that expensive. Right, let's take a much closer look at these because I have taken some pictures, as I do. I took one, I took two apart, very hard to take apart, extremely hard to take apart, by design. So there is the uh, Vagol, the Wago unit open. Here is the top assembly showing the metal insert here. There's the little wings, which incidentally, if you take the whole housing apart and then you try to operate it, it these will break because they rely strongly on the support to keep it miniature they've relied strongly on the physical support of the case to actually strengthen these and it's a brittle type plastic that i'd associate with being fireproof which is good that's what i'd expect again of vago so if we take a look at the bits that really matter here we have the bit that inserts in the top uh, this sits into that and then it clicks down very, very hard to get apart. There was a clip here and a clip here. That did not open it. They were the easiest ones to release. But at the end, there are super tight clips that go in here with reinforcement ribs and everything so that when this is clipped together and that's pushed down onto that with great force, I would expect, it clicks in in a very much a one-way trip. The only way I could remove these was to actually get the snips in and physically cut the little tangs off that allowed me to get this back out. But here is the bus bar assembly, which is quite a complex shape. This is uh, tinned copper. And the springs, this is really important to note, the springs here are looped. They're actually hooked into the copper so that uh, even in the event of an apocalypse, in the event of a building catching fire, the wires will stay put. They won't just pop out of connectors. They will stay firmly in place. And um, other YouTubers have done... Overload test, significant to the point the wires were growing red hot, that's the point they failed. And what happened was the plastic housing melted and dripped off as it would, but the uh, the wires stayed locked in place with these connections. And the angle and the types of metal are all crucial to this, because when you push the connectors, the wires in, or when you lift the tab and put it in, uh, the bite force and the strength of the uh, spring and the composition of the copper bus bar is important to make sure you get a good electrical connection and it holds in super tightly and doesn't drag out. That's something they did wrong with these because uh, you can drag uh, stranded wires out of these. I discovered that with soldered wires, they just pop out easily. Maybe, just don't solder them. Um, but these uh, little actuators here, in use, they sort of ride on the bottom and when you tilt them, Normally, the contact is sitting in the bottom of this little sort of like Pac-Man V-notch here. But when you rotate it, that tip there lifts the spring up. And then when it rotates around the full quarter turn, it then stays up by holding, locking round against that because it's right against the, the circular section of that. You push the wire in, 
you lower it down and it just releases the spring and lets it bite into the copper. And the more you pull it, the harder it's going to bite. Um, they're very good. A lot of uh, design has gone into this, as I'd expect, with with a German product. Um, it's interesting to note that the original inventors, Wagner and Albrecht, invented the screwless connector in 1951, but it's only much later that it came into popularity in these days. It's taking over completely. I mean, um, they're so popular these days, and justifiably so. They're a very fast way of connecting. The first time I saw these being used in bulk, and it was the standard set of push-in ones that you couldn't normally release, uh, it was actually at Disney. They were using them everywhere at Disney in Paris. Um, but uh, they've caught up over here. And to be honest, I like them. I, I find them a very good and solid way of making electrical connection that is not dependent on people being required to screw things down of the correct tightness. And also, they're less likely to suffer the loosening of, of screw connectors from copper displacement because they've got a spring that just keeps applying consistent pressure. So there we have it, the feed-through, the pass-through. Uh, Vagal connectors, or Wiggle, Vago, whatever you want to call them. Um, most people say Wiggle, really. I'll say Wiggle. Uh, but they're very good, um, very nicely designed, very solid, very hard to take a bit by to apart by virtue of the fact that they're put together so solidly. Uh, just very neat connectors.